The Lagos State Government is set to establish shelters for survivors of domestic and sexual-based violence in order to help break the cycle of dependence on the victims from their perpetrators. The First Lady of the State, Dr. Ibijoke Sowolu, made this known while engaging stakeholders in domestic and sexual-based violence in Lagos as the state looks to harmonize their efforts with their private organizations. We have homes for the destitute, we have homes for people that are homeless, and then we have homes that we try to, that they try to keep people until they can get back on their feet, by trying to empower them while they're in the homes. My discussion with Minister of Women Affairs and Poverty and Education is that to establish at least five shelters, Using the Ibile Division, that's Keja, Padagmi, Ikorodu, Lagos, and Kwe. So the whole of last year was for us to know what was happening in the different ministries. That was phase one. Phase two is to now look at our NGOs that are based in Lagos states, bring them together in a room, find out what they're doing. Some participants say that the organs of government must up the ante and enforce repercussions so perpetrators do not have leeway to persist in their crimes, which they say have led to casualties on the victims. Everybody needs to be involved. We need to educate. We need to sensitize. We need to make sure that the justice, those who have been the perpetrators, are brought to justice. So the, the, the police must live up to expectation, the, 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 the oh. uh, uh, process of justice must be fast. The issue of gender-based violence is all over the country, but some of our people, they don't understand it. And we, as an NGO, we have been going around to the community to do mobile counseling, to enlighten people on gender-based violence, and we give them the law that is existing.